കൗൺസിൽ ഫോർ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി കോർപ്പറേഷൻ അതായത് ശാസ്ത്ര സാങ്കേതിക വിദ്യ വൻ പുരോഗതിയിലെത്തുമ്പോഴും മതത്തിൻ്റെ പേരിലും മാനുഷ്യ സാഹോദര്യം നശിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ അതിനെ കൂട്ടിയോഗിക്കാനും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ മനുഷ്യ സാഹോദര്യം നിലനിർത്താനും ഗൾഫാർ മുഹമ്മദിൽ നേതൃത്വം നൽകുന്ന ഈ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തിൻ്റെ അതിനെക്കുറിച്ചിട്ടുള്ള അദ്ദേഹത്തിൻ്റെ വാക്കുകൾ നമുക്കൊന്ന് കേൾക്കാം എൻ്റെ സഹപ്രവർത്തകരായ രാമചന്ദ്രൻ സാർ സദസ്സിലും വേദിയിലും ഇരിക്കുന്ന മഹത്വത്തിൻ്റെ കൂടെ ആദ്യമായി വളരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടു കൂടിയുള്ള ഈ പരിപാടിയിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചത് എനിക്ക് വളരെ അധികം സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് വളരെയധികം മീഡിയ പ്രവർത്തകർ ഇതിൽ ഇന്ന് പങ്കെടുക്കുന്നു എന്നതിൽ അതിലേറെ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് കാരണം നിങ്ങളാണ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഈ ആശ്രയം ജനങ്ങളിലേക്ക് എത്തിക്കേണ്ടത് ആ ഉത്തരവാദിത്വം നിങ്ങളിൽ അർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ തുടങ്ങട്ടെ ഞാനൊരു പ്രസംഗീകരണമൊന്നുമല്ല പക്ഷേ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് It is worth an honor and a privilege to stand before you today at the inauguration of the Dwendron chapter of the Council for Community Cooperation. This gathering of diverse minds and faiths represents the spirit of unity that binds us as a nation and reflects the strength of we grow from our differences. First of all, I let me congratulate Sri Sohara sir and Zafar and his team for making this development chapter as a reality. India's history is a living testament to the harmony that can exist amidst diversity. Our constitution, the cornerstone of our democracy, guarantees equality, freedom and justice to every citizen in respect to your caste, creed and religion. As Swami Vivekananda said, we believe not only in universal toleration, but we accept. all the details as true. The message of inclusivity is the bedrock upon which we must build our efforts. The vision of Council for Community Cooperation, known as CCC, the communal harmony and inclusive development resonates deeply in these times. Progress is meaningful only when it uplifts every segment of society leaving no one behind. No religion teaches hatred. No scripture preaches discord. It is our duty to find the common ground that unites us. Hunger has no religion. Disasters has no religion, pandemics has no religion. Our focus should be on humanity and strengthening our bonds, which is the need of the hour. <clears throat> Religious leaders, as the talks, bearers of morality and values, play a pivotal role in shaping the collective conscience of society. Our influence can bridge divides, nurture empathy, 
and inspire action rooted compassion. Saint Teresa, the Almas of Mother Teresa, a beacon of love and service, says, If we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we, we belong to each other. Our goal should not merely be peaceful for existence, but active cooperation, celebrating the vibrancy of our differences, while working towards shared prosperity and build trust and respect across our communities. Our Father of Nation, Mahatma Gandhi, reminded us, you will never know what will come out of your actions, but if you do nothing, there will be no effects. Let us take proactive steps to make communal harmony a living reality. Let us remind ourselves that unity in diversity is not just an idea but a necessity for a harmonious and progressive of yeah. India. Let me invite your attention to the slogan of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sakke Saat Sakke Vigas, a powerful message indeed. It envisions the holistic growth of India and welfare of our citizens. I would like to add to make that Sakke Saat Sakke Vigas and Sakka Vishwas. That is important. Guided by these timeless words, we must ensure that the fruits of developments are shared by all, ensuring dignity and equality for every individual as instilled in our constitution. As we embark on this journey, let us pledge to abide by the constitution, uphold the values of justice and equality, and work for a society that respects every individual, cherishes diversity, and ensures development for all. As our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, the best among you are those who bring the greatest benefits to others. And let us spread these values to our villages the guides, districts, temples, churches, and most, and ensure the spirit is nurtured across all age groups and communities. Every school or education institution should have a window for this initiative, so that young minds will stay connected to this social cause. Together, let us make this council a beacon of hope, harmony, and collective strength. Finally, I would like to end up by reminding you the words of our beloved late President Sri APK Abdul Kalam. Where there is righteousness in, in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. And when there is harmony in the home, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. This is our aim, and may this council work shine as a light for generations to come. Thank you, David. <laughs>